Well, we're in the thick of the holiday season, and that means we've got a lot of events and parties to get to, from your kids' recital to the annual office party to perhaps something with a little more glitz. And this morning, Saks Fifth Avenue is helping you pick out some must-have items that you can keep in your closet for years to come. And Cheryl Hall Lindsay is the fashion director over at Saks at Somerset. So glad to see you this morning once again. Thank you, Michael. All Good right. to be here. Yeah, what do we got this morning? Well, we're going to take a look at some holiday fashions that hopefully will get you through the holidays and beyond. And so here's Kylie in our first look. And what I love about this cardigan with Lurex is that it's a holiday item. You can wear this to your holiday party, but come January, when you need to put things like this away, you don't have to. Take your white shirt with a collar and cuffs, your little pleated skirt or a pencil skirt, and belt it with your black tights and your high heels, and you can wear it to work. Here's Tika in our next look. And this, I think, is very classic Ralph Lauren, very Edwardian, and this is for Ralph Lauren's Blue Label collection. And what I love about this is that velvet is a perennial favorite at the holidays, but it's also a perennial favorite every fall. So a look like this is very holiday looking with the lace on the cuff and at the jabot. Very, very much um, a very holiday look. Pretty blouse all by itself, but with the velvet jacket, you get a little more mileage out of it, the riding jacket. Tika is working it this morning. You got it. Looking good. All these girls are gorgeous. All right, next and up. All from local, all local Detroiters, I might add, Michael. Excellent. Uh, proud to be here and uh, employ our Detroit girls. Yeah, terrific. Here's Tiffany, and red is one of those classic holiday favorites. You see a lot of it in the stores uh, at this time of year, and there's a good reason for that, because it's really flattering on most skin types and most um, um, hair coloring um, and eye coloring combinations. This deep red is also a velvet, and what I love about this very simple um, faux wrap style dress with a little spaghetti strap is that it's very flattering on most figure types. So let's talk a little bit about the colors. We've seen a little black and red. What really works during the holiday season? Well, black is a perennial favorite, Michael, and so is red, as you uh, imagine and as we showed. But you're going to be surprised this season because this really pretty pink blush color is going to be popular this holiday season, too. And it's the first time I've seen it in a while. I like this look on Kylie. I call it the Sugar Plum Fairy. I think it's, um, it's a great color for the holidays because it's not black or red or silver or gold or one of the expected colors. Um, this is from BCBG and it has sort of the tulle pinwheels on the um, outside of the dress on the lower part of it on the skirt and very, very pretty um, sort of netting and lace at the top of it with a little jeweled belt. Simple, pretty, great holiday color because you won't be in, you know, walking to a sea of little black dresses. You won't be in black, but you could wear this again in the spring. And here's Tika. And this is from Nicole Miller. And what I loved about this is because we do like sequins at the holidays. So you asked about color. Uh, we're seeing sequins not just in silver and gold, but in colors like this violet, which is rich and really beautiful. This is a little short, fun number. Um, under $400 from Nicole Miller with the V-neck. I think it's got it all going on. And of course, this is your New Year's Eve wow. pull out all the stops yeah. glamour gown. Um, it's from a new vendor for us called Basics. And what I loved about this is that it's the way that it's beaded in sequins really has a special sort of waterfall shimmer effect. It's really, really a fabulous dress. And it's under $1,000. It's $800. And this is a lot of dress for the money. It's really a fabulous, um, I think, um, value for someone who wants something a little over the top. What's the general rule about wearing? a dress for the second time. Can they pull it off? Or Absolutely. Yeah. What you generally have to do, Michael, it's a great question, is change your accessories. So if you wore the big drop earring or you had the big jewels clutch, you want to change it up a little. And usually what you're going to do is dress it down a little bit so that it's a little more casual than the first time you wore it. All right, ladies, thanks so much this morning. Happy holidays, everybody. And Cheryl, thanks so much for coming in. Thank that you, was fun. Michael. All right. So much fun. All right. We'll be right back.